There you are, sweetie girl. I'm hiding. Are you, are you hiding? Yes. Are you ready to go to school? Yes. It's your first day in school, but it's just open house today. So you don't have to wear your uniform today, but you have to wear your uniform on Monday, okay? Monday? Yes, ma'am. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, sweetie. Are you excited? So sweet, Maria. Maybe you just walk past my production in panties and a towel on your head. Y'all see the stress I'm under here, my friends. Good morning, son. Good morning. Good morning. Forrest G just got woken up. y'all doing hope y'all are doing well out there and welcome to my cooking show all I'm making today is my famous chicken soup I'm gonna be making that in the large 3.2 quart cast iron combo cooker two pieces of this gear look at that that's the lid you can use it as a skillet it goes on there like that Dutch oven You've seen it. That's the large 3.2 quart cast iron combo cooker. Folks, that piece of gear right there is made in America. By the good folks down in South Pittsburgh, Tennessee, my friends. This piece of gear is not. I suspect it was made in China. Uh, anyhow. Right, I gotta plug in my stove. This stove is a champion. I have one uh, electrical burner and it's an electric start. I've got to plug it in though. So I'm gonna ask the ladies, is the gas turned on? Oh no, you're gonna have to move my camera set up here. Step one. Gisok uh, para mo para mag ano yung oh oh okay paano ba isayo aderecho uh, lang oh yun yun mo tigas ni okay okay yan ang teknik lagyan ng kape <laughs> para mo <laughs> hindi ano ay ay ano mo tigas gusto yung malambot okay <laughs> ano ano grabe na ako katawa Dapat pinakikita mo rin yung mukha mo, madaya ito eh. Hmm na. Mag-video lang ako, huwag lang pagkita mukha ako. Pasaway. Snack me in bukas tomorrow, Maria. Okay. When you go in school, okay? Okay, tomorrow. Yeah. Snack mo yan, tapos snack din ng mama mo. <laughs> <laughs> yun, yun yun. Ito buo? Hindi ba, hindi ba pagka wala sarit yung ano, yung uh, all purpose flour, uh, all purpose <laughs> all purpose cream. <laughs> ano, malagpot. Malag malag oh. Ito buo. Eh. Okay, mango. Mango. No, baby. Oh, hindi. Kasi pinatay yung TV. Yan, tuloy. Oh, wala mo si Puris. Look at that. Ayatong mo. 
Just watch out there, okay? Get your skinners on that thing. Turn it on for me. Now, ladies, to be honest, I wasn't looking for potatoes in my soup because those potatoes take forever to cook. That's the bad thing about potatoes. Carrots, onions, garlic. Wait a minute. Where's the garlic, ladies? There's garlic. Garlic? Uh, the onions, everything, no problem. But when you put potatoes, my goodness, it takes a long time to cook. That's all right, baby. Don't get in a big hurry. I'll wait on the garlic. It's okay. Now, my welding gloves are outside, but I do have this, this little mitt right here. Old baby shark. Had this thing for a couple years. I think my mom got this somewhere. Anyhow, it's been a champion. Seen its better days, but it's still working. The welding gloves are outside. The best way to cook with a cast iron skillet is with a pair of welding gloves. Because you can manhandle that thing, you can keep your hand over there. It comes up to your elbow so it's not burning anything, but my welding gloves, they need to be washed. So I'm gonna refrain from using my welding gloves. Now, turn a little gas on, make sure we got good ventilation. And let me check with the ladies. Ladies, is the front window open for ventilation? Okay, if you don't open a window, this fan is just like sucking on a straw, a skittle stuck in the end of it. It just don't work. But we got good cross ventilation going on. Folks, first things first, you gotta heat up that lodge. Nisan, preno preno, hindi ka marunong magpreno, Jessica ay. Tapos yung powder, ay yung etong duro ko na ako ba? Setas ni. Ikaw na gumawa niya, tatanungin mo ba ako? Ba, mali ko kung gusto mo rin lagyan ng ganyan ganyan ay. Oo, setas lang yan. Now, the beautiful Jessica just chopped up my garlic. Take a look at that. I hope the camera does that some justice, and I also hope it don't roll off into the floor. Look at that. Everybody's cooperating right now. Wonderful. We got the beautiful Fatima over here wearing a, a beautiful little pair of shorts on. Cooking, it's not rocket science. If it was, there wouldn't be how many billion people on the planet now? About seven? What do you do? You put the meat on the heat, add some spices and vegetables, and you got a meal. It ain't, it ain't rocket science. Put the meat on the heat. Me, I want tummy. No. Heheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheh
Is those nor? Well, those are fish cubes. Well, I'm not putting a fish cube in my chicken soup. That's not happening. Listen, the nor cubes, the pork and the chicken, they're wonderful in anything. Like if you're making pork, you can put the chicken cubes, vice versa. The fish and the shrimp, no, those things are strong. I'm not down with those on any dish, really. Pork or chicken, good to go. The beef's okay, but the seafood, seafood cubes are a little pungent, if you ask me. Just a hair bit of oil in there. Just a little bit of oil, folks. It ain't rocket science. Now look, I know you can't see over in here, uh, but I'm working on that. I'm working on a live stream setup where I can live stream this view and live stream a view looking down into the skillet. And all I gotta do is push a button, doop, doop, switch back and forth. Now, the more complicated you get when you try to do anything, the greater chance it has of failing or getting messed up somehow, right? The easiest way to live stream here we go. Whoa. Whoa. Got a cauldron going on over there. Ladies, why didn't we get the water out of this chicken? My goodness. What we got going on here? <laughs> Go. All right, let's try this again. There we go. Hand this off to my lovely assistant. So this is cayenne pepper. I don't paint it with that because they always complain that uh, it's just too much, too much spice. Let's go with paprika. I'll paint that with a little paprika, a little bit of ginger, no problem. Oh yeah. Hit it with a ginger. Come in there with a little sesame oil. Nothing wrong with a little sesame oil on the chicken. A little bit more. Get that good flavor locked in there. Uh, cayenne pepper. Yeah, we were staying away from the cayenne pepper. But the chili powder is okay. Look at that. My goodness. Straight up gangster genius. Garlic going into the mix. Thank you very much, Jessica, for making that there garlic. Oh, yes. 
Hmm. Kay Maria na naman. Maria, Marcela din natin yan bukas sa iyo school ha. Magagawa si Ate ng Gray ha ma. Uh, abay. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Kasi may mabait kaming baby. Ay lagyan na lang ng plastic. Oo, ano? oh, oh, masabi. Wala kang plastic yung parang ano. That mine pink? Oo, oh, oh, so pink. That baby bike? No, Mama Tima. Mama Tima, baby mm -hmm. no. Diyan na sa kabila, Pe. Diyan na lang sa kabila. O, huwag niya na yan. Lagyan ko yung ano bukas. Now, folks, look, the old lady's yak yakking because we don't have any Nora cubes. Insisting that I put the fish cube in there, I'm against it, but this is usually what makes it salty. Usually, a lot of times, I don't have to have much salt. You just put these cubes. But what I'll do is go with uh, two of these little plastic. You know what? That's enough. So you got one Nora cube and one spoonful of salt, and that's a measuring spoon there. I don't know how much that is. But that right there, that should be enough. And I think that her fish cube is really going to mess up my flavor profile. I can't be for certain, but I think, I think that it's gonna be a problem. But since I'm such a good foreign guy, oh, spilt salt on my boots. Luckily, luckily they ain't got no shoe polish on it would shudder to think what would happen if I had, oh, salt all. Man, ladies, I'm making a huge, oh, not again. Okay, so due to the shrinkage and leakage, what? that'll be three quarters of that small plastics. I spill salt everywhere. I even got some on my boots. I such. Mm. Huh? All right, so. Ooh. Folks, I got some breaking news. Talked to Nanita today, and she might be coming back to Angelie City. And I'm, uh, I'm excited about that, baby. Excited, 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 baby, do I detect a little bit of jealous? My goodness. Try me. So, try me. anyhow, everybody who's a Nanita fan, she might be coming back to Angelie's city. If she does, we'll certainly uh, feature her on some of the videos. And she's doing well still with her family in the province. What's wrong, baby? Just sprinkle that salt around. Get that cube going. And actually today I have a little bit of soy sauce. Normally I wouldn't put that in there, but you know, that's a flavor that these ladies obviously like. It's a familiar flavor, obviously. So I'll probably throw a little bit of soy sauce in there too. Man, oh man, spilling all that salt. What can I do? Still got about, about 10 minutes to sizzle, but there you go. There you go right there. I would not do that normally, 
that much soy sauce. All right, so now we're going with the oyster sauce. Man, why are you coming here complaining about my cooking? Uh, she's coffee. Is she said drink? Did she want to drink coffee or yeah? Hey, bakit? Okay, ma. Hindi siya yung ano. Kala ko dun yung una, di ba, gata? Eh, uh, kala ko gagata niya rin. She think that she, you put a... Uh, <laughs> not milk? Not milk? Is it tasty? Delicious. No coconut milk, but I put soy sauce and oyster sauce. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> of course, like it talks every day and every night and everywhere. Ha 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 What is this? <laughs> what is that? The, the pork in there, that's yesterday that we ate. I grilled. And, and then what is this? That's in the... It's um, a headless fish. So what do you want to eat? No. What you want to do? Watch Barbie? Yes. Okay. Can you eat it because it's not good? It's not good. What can I say, folks? Another successful meal. Ladies are in there enjoying themselves, enjoying their meal. My little Forrest G is sleeping. And my Maria Mercedes is watching uh, Barbie. So everybody's happy. Everybody's happy. Everybody's fed. Uh, food for later tonight. It's a blessed day. Again, it was so exciting because... My little girl's first day of school, um, just a wonderful day, you know, good to see her in school and, uh, uh, you know, I'm just so excited and she's excited about going back to school tomorrow, so that's a good thing. She was a little bit shy at first, uh, which kind of surprised me, I mean, she's shy around, you know, individual people, if we meet people in the street, what have you, but I thought she'd get in there with the kids and and uh, rumble but she was a little bit shy so like the first hour it was just like you know group uh everybody having fun listening to videos dancing and then the second hour they lined them up marched them to the classrooms and we parents just sat out and waited to see if there were any you know any fits or crying or anything like that and everybody was fine and she came out and everything was good so anyhow and the ladies up there, the teachers, are so sweet. So that's what's going on with her. And I got up at 5 o'clock this morning. And folks, for a decade, I have not been an early riser. I've touched on this many times. I'm a late night guy. But getting up at 5 this morning, I've been getting up at 6. But I got up at five this morning, and it's just, I don't know, it just felt much better. Like, a, like I'm ahead of the day. Six o'clock is not early enough. I gotta get up at five. Maybe even back that, that up to zero, 0.430, and then I feel like I'm way ahead of everybody in the day. That's just me. But, you know, after, say, a cool decade of uh, late night, staying out late, you know, getting up late, not setting an alarm, Holy moly, I had to set an alarm this morning. Wow. Uh, still not still not wearing a watch. This watch right here is a it's a jewelry piece. But uh, it's always set at five o'clock because it don't work. But hey, new chapter in life. New chapter in life going forward. Thanks for joining me on today's video. I hope you were entertained. If you're uh, not a subscriber, hit that Overstay Road sign right there and get on board my train. I'm trying to get to 1 million subscribers uh, by tonight. Stranger things have happened. See you guys on the next one. Peace out, my friends.